Jared, thanks for joining us. We're obviously looking forward to the start of the FA Youth Cup on Friday, but how do you assess the season so far? It's been a really busy start to the season um, for the players and staff. We've had a, quite a big turnover of staff in the, in the summer. Um, so it's been a real, uh, real busy time getting to know everybody and, and building relationships between staff and between players. Um, but the pre-season tour, and we've obviously had our league programme uh, and obviously some cup competitions as well in terms of the league cup. So uh, it's been really busy, um, and uh, yeah, you, it's flown by till Christmas, and we're really looking forward to starting the FAU Cup now. In terms of results, it had been a difficult start, but you're now unbeaten in your last four games. How pleasing has it been to see that progress? Uh, look, it's been really pre pleasing to see the progress of the, of the group on the whole, um, and I think it's really important to reflect and look back uh, on those things, and, and the group have really moved on in, in lots of ways. Um, the results aren't necessarily the being end all at uh, at youth development level and, and at under eighteen level, so um, that's not the the biggest uh, prerequisite of the job, but it it it, uh, it does help and and it's important and, and wanting to win is really really key. Um, so we're pleased with the progress the group has made, um, and results are important. And we're, we're obviously uh, we're obviously delighted to uh, to be in a good vein of form coming into the FA Youth Cup. As the under-21 side gets younger, that obviously has a knock-on effect on the, on the under-18. So how well have the younger players in the group adapted to this level? Some of the younger players have done really well. Um, and as you said, it's, it's really tough for them. And, and there is definitely an adaption needed. And, and you know, it's important to remember the school boys are, are obviously still in school. So uh, they're not even full-time and in the programme. So um, for those young players that have stepped up, they've done really well. Uh, which is credit to all the good work that goes on in the younger ages within the academy. And, and how that all links and, and, and those players are being stretched right throughout the academy. Um, and it's uh, it's testament to how well they've done. So it's it's you know we hope they can continue that form. And personally, how much have you enjoyed your first half season here at Aston Villa? It's been terrific. Yeah, really enjoyed it. It's a, it's a massive club, a uh, really big club, and um, been made to feel very welcome by by the staff that were in existence, and obviously the new staff. We formed good relationships, and um, yeah, really looking forward to uh, to next week and, and and the rest of the season. Just before we get on to the FA Youth Cup, it must have been encouraging to see, for the academy to see a lot of players getting minutes at Cardiff a couple of days ago, especially Caden Young at just 16. Yeah, look, that's, that's what it's all about. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And, um, you know, I think that that's the, that's the thing that you always want to see. You know, you talk about results at under 18 level, under 21 level. That's, that's where really the results and things that we really look for is are those players progressing and are they improving? And have we got players who can go and break into the first team and, and play in the first team? And obviously... A couple of them had a little taste of it the other night, Caden being one at, at 16 years of age, which is a fantastic uh, experience for him. Um, and yeah, that uh, gives us all a lot of pride when we see those things happen. As, uh, you know, credit to a lot of the work that goes on. Uh, that's not just the under-18s, of course. That, that goes on right throughout the whole club. And so, so that, that's right from the schoolboy uh, programme right up to the 21. So it's, um, it's a, re a reflection of all the work done by everybody within the academy. And it's, it's great to see because ultimately that's what it's all about. Looking ahead to Friday, the Youth Cup games are obviously really big occasions for everyone. How much is everyone looking forward to, to facing Brentford? Yeah, we, we can't wait. There's a, a real excitement in the group. You can, sort of, uh, you can sort of taste it when you're on the grass and it's coming around to that time of the year. So the players are all really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, that excitement is, is really high. So it's probably something we have to sort of try and uh, taper a little bit. You don't want to look back in anger um, and have let the opportunity pass you by. So those excitement levels, it's really good to embrace that. But also just to remember it's another game of football which we all want the players to do well in, but uh, it's, it's, ultimately, um, it's ultimately another game of football, another, another day in their careers. And for a lot of them, it'll be their first experience at Villa Park. Have you just got to keep, keep them focused on the task? Yeah, it will be. And, but look, that's, that's what's great about it. I think, um, I think that's, that's to be embraced because it's probably the closest uh, opportunity to a first-team fixture that they'll, they'll probably get, uh, certainly at such a young age. So um, that's the, the fantastic aspect and we're lucky that it's in the stadium and we've got a home draw and it's, it's great that it is and we're, we're really looking forward to that. We want them to embrace that and as I said about uh, sort of not letting the experience pass them by, we want to embrace that and, and make sure that they shine on, on that stage. And finally, you'll have looked at Brentford. What sort of challenge are you expected from them on the night? Yeah, Brentford are a really good side. They're well coached. They've got some, some really dangerous players. So uh, I think it's there to be seen that the progress that club has made over the last decade or so uh, in terms of their academy, in terms of the first team. Um, but it's about us uh, and our focus is on, on being the best version of ourselves. We think we've got some, some good young players and uh, so our focus is, is very much on, on us. We really respect uh, Brentford and think they're a very good team. But our focus is on us, our good young players and, and hopefully shining on the night at Villa Park.